Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25346. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also if there are any fixes in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is releasing ISOs for this build so you can go ahead and go into the official Microsoft website select the edition the latest version from the Canary channel confirm select the product language for example English United States and then you're gonna have the Windows 11 client insider preview build 25346 on the 64-bit version. First of all, what you need to note is that the Canary Channel builds will soon be moving to the 25,008XX build range, likely to begin work on the next development semester called Gallium. You should expect these builds very soon. There is currently no expected release time for the 25,008XX builds. A huge thank you to Xenopanther on Twitter for discovering these news. In this build, we have some news regarding the content adaptive brightness control. Starting with this build, Microsoft is allowing this feature to run on devices such as laptops and two-in-ones that are plugged into a charger. For most users, this change would be noticeable and should reduce energy consumption. This feature can be adjusted via settings, system, display, under brightness and control, and through a drop-down menu with three options, off, always, or on battery only. This is very interesting, and I think this should be very useful for some users. Regarding the remote desktop, Microsoft redesigned the connection bar for remote desktop sessions to a new and refreshed light slash dark mode design that aligns with the Windows 11 design principles. You're going to have some screenshots to see how that looks. And also when sharing a local file in File Explorer to Outlook contacts, you will now see the option to quickly email the file to yourself. In addition, Microsoft made improvements in loading your contacts from Outlook. This capability is not available for files stored in OneDrive folders as OneDrive has its own share experience. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, when right-clicking on the network icon in the system tray, Microsoft added the option to diagnose network problems. And also when right-clicking on the date or the clock and the then clicking on adjust date and time should be able to notice a new option hide time and date in the system tray this is hidden right now but you can follow the video that i've made a few days ago if you want to manually enable this and when you turn this on the date and time will disappear from the taskbar regarding the settings app microsoft is introducing a new presence sensor privacy settings and apis and if you want to learn more about this you can check out the article below in the video's description also regarding windows security after fixing some issues based off insider feedback microsoft is reintroducing Using the updated Windows Security or Firewall not notification dialogs that match the Windows 11 visuals. In the File Explorer, we also have the new suggestions for the snap layouts. This is very interesting. This is also a hidden feature that you can enable manually if you've watched some of my previous videos. This is pretty useful and basically this will allow you to quickly snap certain apps that you have opened at the moment. That is very useful. And also in this build, we have a lot of improvements regarding the details pane and the new home page with some visual changes and also reliability improvements. And I think this is very good that Microsoft is continuing to work on this and hopefully the finished version will be a version that a lot of users will like. We also have some improvements regarding the narrator. Narrator users who interact with traditional Chinese characters are now able to do this with confidence while using narrator in the IME Canada window in Windows. If you want to learn more about this, you can check out the article below in the video's description. And also regarding graphics, it's now easier to configure the state of HDR when running on battery. Simply go to settings, system and display in HDR and choose whether you want HDR or HDR video streaming to remain turned on when your PC is running on battery. So this is basically all there is to it in the latest Canary build of Windows 11. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.